Welcome to part four on this, the Sauerman Psyker 130 flue gas analyzer. Now, if you haven't seen the other three videos on using this and unboxing it and all the other stuff I've done with it, then I will leave a link in the description below. Anyway, today's video is about carrying out a tightness test using this analyzer. So let's get on with it and find out how we're gonna carry out a tightness test using this Salmon Psyker 130 flue gas analyzer. Now the analyzer comes with this tube for doing tightness testing and it has an orange o-ring on the end of it so that means it goes into the orange section on the analyzer. Now we need to get this set up without connecting this to your gas meter. So let's get this ready for doing this tightness testing. Now to get on the tightness test page we need to press these three lines up here and we need to go into other measurements. We need to go down to UK tests and press start. This is now going to zero everything for us. We can now pick let by and tightness. Now it says start the pressure. We can now connect our hose to our test point on the gas meter. We can now use the ECV to raise the pressure to between 7 and 10 millibars. So now we're between 7 and 10 millibars, we can start the test. So the test is for one minute and as you can see down at the bottom of the screen, it's counting down for us, so no need for a stopwatch. Now that's the one minute up and we have fallen by 0.07 millibars, so that's a pass. We can now rise the pressure to between 20 and 21 millibars for our temperature stabilization. Now we're at 20.6 millibars, so between 20 and 21, so we can now start our test. And again, the internal timer is timing down for one minute. And again, that's a minute up, but this time we only fell by 0.01 millibars, so again, that's a pass. Now no need to adjust the pressure, so we can just start the tightness test for two minutes. Now that's the two minutes up, so that's the end of the tightness test. You can see it's only fallen by 0.08 millibars. So again, that's a pass. Now you can see I can slide the screen up and down to show the full results. Now if I want to save the results, I can press this little icon here. You can see I've already made a folder with Tomcat, so I can press that. Press save, and it's now saved it into the Tomcat folder. If you want to access this information in the future, press the three little lines, then the data, click on the Tomcat file, and there is the results from what we've just done. It's as simple as that. So now we've finished, we can now remove this silicon hose from the test point, put back in the test nipple, screw it back in with our flat bladed screwdriver, but make sure you don't over tighten it, turn the gas back on, and then spray the test nipple with your leak detection fluid or your LDF. Then you need to leave it for a couple of seconds and make sure it's not leaking. And then using a clean cloth, wipe off the excess leak detection fluid. And now the job is done. 
So that's carrying out a tightness test using the Salomon Psyker 130 flue gas analyzer. Now in part five, I'm gonna be showing you how to pair these two together and carry out a tightness test using your smartphone. Anyway, hopefully you've liked the video and I will catch you on part five. Cheers.